Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am doing my May feelings, favourites and fails and I did this for March. I think I did a March one and that was the first one that I filmed of this kind of series where it's like feelings, favourites and fails and I was going to film one last month. Well actually I did film one last month and I didn't get around to uploading it because I had other things to post. So this is going to be this one for May, kind of including April. So let's get into the video. So first of all I'm going to talk about my feelings of this month and I think it's going to be quite a good thing to do every single month is to kind of talk about how I'm feeling for the month, especially during lockdown because that will change. Last time I did this video, lockdown had only, only just kind of been introduced and that was in March and I said that I was feeling, you know, okay with it but I didn't like the fact that, you know, I couldn't go out and just do the normal things that I'd be able to do. Obviously I accepted it because everybody has to accept it and there's worse things out there but I just, you know, it was not normal to me back then and it felt weird. Whereas now it is a lot more normal to me now. I almost feel like this is my normal life and I can't even remember the times when I would go to, you know, just uni or the pub or something like that. Like I can't even, you know, remember those times really. And to me, this feels normal now. And I know a lot of people are actually struggling with it quite a lot and they feel like they're just housebound and they don't know what to do and everything. I'm quite lucky that me and Jamie live near um, like a parky kind of area, like a space with fields and stuff so we can just kind of chill in there. We are actually looking after a dog today and um, for like a few days so I'm really excited and I'm gonna be vlogging this week so I'm really excited about that but we're gonna take her there. She's called Ellie so I'm really excited about that but yeah this month I've been feeling a lot better. I just feel like you know I am the kind of person that it doesn't necessarily like change so to start with I take some adjusting but once I've kind of got a routine and I've adjusted I'm fine for me in life I need a routine and if I don't have my routine then I feel uncomfortable and I've got a routine I make my to-do list every single day get stuff done around the house and that keeps me busy as long as I'm kind of doing a little walk every day or I go to Lidl or whatever I'm fine so that's you know all good and I'm feeling quite happy I'm really happy um, because yesterday I did actually tidy my entire flat which was something that I haven't done in a long time like I tidy it every day but I don't really like organize sort through stuff and tidy properly I am going to be hoovering today as well so I feel a lot better and also really excited to look after the dog um so yeah overall feelings of this month is quite happy and um, there's not really been too much going on to be honest with you. I'm just getting used to being at home, just doing the general day to day life situations and things and I'm quite liking it and the weather is a lot better. If it was raining outside all the time then it wouldn't you know, be as easy to be able to adjust to things but because the weather is nice I can sit outside in my little garden area. Um, it's not really a garden because there's no grass but it's just like an outside area so I'm thankful that we've got that because if I need fresh air I've got it and I've also been busy packaging up orders and things like that so lots of stuff to keep me busy and filming videos etc so yeah this month feelings is very good 10 out of 10 now for the favorites side of things in this video sorry i'm just brushing my hair don't mind me okay yeah so now for the favorite side of things in this video i have got a few skincare bits a couple of makeup bits and some food items and that is literally going to be it and maybe i'll talk about like youtuber favorites and stuff like that and tv program favorites but there's not too much. So I'm gonna start off with skincare, which is what I've kind of got most of. I've really got into skincare since the start of the year. I spend a lot more money on skincare than I do makeup. In fact, I don't really like to spend any money on makeup anymore. The only thing that I kind of spend money on is like a foundation if I run out or something like that. But when it comes to skincare, I'm obsessed because I know that if your skin is looking good, then your makeup will look good. So that's kind of how I see it. Oh, I need to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. I need to say my hay fever tablet. I feel like we've got another one coming. Okay, we'll see. 
Okay, right, first of all, we've got this. So this is from The Body Shop. All of these skincare products are from The Body Shop. The majority of the skincare that I own is from The Body Shop. But this is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Facial Soap. And I haven't mentioned this in a favourites before, but I wanted to. The reason why I didn't is because it's been in the shower. So I actually, this is my backup version. I've re-bought this. My other one that I'm still using is in the shower. And I just didn't want to pick it up and bring it out because it's a bar of soap. Um, but I've got this one and it's in the packaging and I just really like this soap so much it is specific for the face it clears your skin like if you've got spots this is such a great product to use because it does clear your skin quite nicely unless you've got acne or something like that it's just basic breakouts but I really like this product and I like how my skin feels so fresh and refreshed and I like products that really feel like they're cleaning and this is that kind of product. So yeah, it's not that expensive. So I would recommend and it lasts a long time. The next product is this. This is the Body Shop, obviously. Uh, Vitamin C Glow Boosting Microdermabrasion. I showed this in a recent Body Shop haul that I filmed. If you wanna go and see that, check it back on my channel. But this is basically like a, an upgraded scrub like it's much better than any kind of usual scrub that you would be able to buy because this is really intense they do say to just use this maximum once a week because of how intense it is and that's exactly what i've been doing it is a bit more expensive than your normal scrub but obviously if you're just using it once a week then that's absolutely fine and it just makes your skin so soft i'm a big advocate for using scrubs to soften your skin if you've got dry skin everything like that it's such a good product i would say if you've got acne or loads of spots this will be too harsh for you because it will, you know, really kind of rub against them and aggravate them. So this is a product really if you've got dry skin or just normal to combination skin, but not spotty or acne prone skin. The next one is also one I bought recently. This is the Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Essence Lotion. I love essence lotions. Some people uh, probably don't know what they are, but they're just like added skincare products that you can add into your like, skincare regime that just add nice things to your face, hydration, that kind of thing. This one's got oil in it, so it does make your skin quite soft and, you know, really smooth and moisturized. And that's what I like about this product is how soft my skin feels after I use it. So yeah, I would recommend this. I really like this one. Then I've got a moisturizer, which I was obsessed, like I was obsessing over in that video where I did a haul because I showed this product as well. And this is the Body Shop Vitamin E Gel Moisture Cream. I have actually repurchased another one of these. They're it's coming in the post um so expect a little baby haul coming soon from the body shop but yeah i did repurchase this because i was scared of running out of it it's the best moisturizer i've ever tried it's not a normal consistency it's a gel consistency rather than like a white kind of moisturizing effect and it just makes my skin so soft and so glowy it doesn't feel like you have to really work it into the skin it feels like as soon as you put it on it's just so hydrating and nice and i just i'm obsessed with this product it's my favorite skin care product at the minute of all time so i love it and then finally for skincare i've got this which is the body shop vitamin c energizing face mist i use this as part of my morning skincare routine i will do my normal routine apply my moisturizer and then i will just apply my spf after that and spray some of this on and it leaves such a nice glow over your skin for the whole day if you don't put makeup on the top then your skin will be glowy all day but if you do then it's just a nice base for makeup i just love how glowy this makes your skin obviously it is meant to be an energizing glowy product and it definitely like meets what it says so yeah i love this product so much my leg is dead so that is everything for skincare this month. Now for makeup, I've just got a couple of things. And the first thing is actually my lip kind of combination that I've been wearing every single day and that I've got on today. Literally all I do, it kind of looks like I've got an actual lip gloss, like lipstick gloss on, but I haven't. I've got this on, which is a lip crayon, but I use it as a lip liner. So I literally dip a brush into it, or an angled brush line my lips and it's just a brownie kind of shade it's from beauty big bang in the shade number nine rose taupe and then i use this lip gloss here which is from nubian or something um and i just put that over the top and i just really like that combination it's funny how i actually was sent both of these um this one's obviously that brand did a video for them this one's beauty big bang did a video for them ages ago but i still am obsessed with those products so yeah really like that combination now a second and final makeup product because i honestly like i said i'm heavily into skincare rather than makeup at the minute um but i really like this this is just the rimmel stay matte 
powder and I was using the natural collection powder for a while but then as soon as I switched from that one to this one I noticed a massive difference in the fact that this just mattifies your skin so much better. I have oily skin and also I wear a lot of makeup so I wear a lot of foundation and concealer. That all needs to be mattified down quite a lot so this really does that and it keeps it matte for a long time. This is in the shade by the way number one transparent. Okay, and then food favourites, I've got a couple. The first one is these, Ginger Crunch. So these are, I think they're, are they Foxes? Yeah, Foxes um, Ginger Crunch Creams. And I recently got these and I haven't had them in ages and I just forgot how good ginger biscuits are. And I know some people probably don't like ginger or ginger biscuits or anything, but I love it and it just tastes so good. So yeah, I've been really enjoying these. So I love them. And then also, it's all about balance. This is the Skinny Food Low Sugar Pancake Mix. If I'm still hungry in the evening and I've had my calories for the day because I'm losing weight, if you didn't already know, um, then I will have some of these. They're only 27 calories each. And then the topping that I put on would be like low, um, zero sugar, uh, sorry, zero calorie syrup, or I would just put on some tree color. It depends how many calories um, I can have. But yeah, I really, really like these pancakes. They actually taste so good. Like they taste just the same as normal pancakes and they've got so much less calories in. Basically, it's just like a powdered mixture. Mix it with water, fry it in a pan, and eat it, and it's really good. So yeah, I would recommend these from Skinny Foods. I did a haul on my channel a few videos ago. Go and check it out if you wanna go and watch that and my opinions on some of the other products there, but this is definitely my favorite thing that I bought from there because they taste so good. Okay, YouTuber favorites. I think my favorite YouTuber for this month has got to be Jamie Genevieve. I love her videos, her makeup videos, everything like that. She, I think she lives in Scotland or something. I'm not entirely sure exactly where she lives, but yeah, she's, a really really good youtuber when it comes to like makeup she posts quite a lot and i like watching youtubers that post a lot if they don't post regularly then i just get bored and don't watch them i only really enjoy people that post quite regularly she posts like two to three times a week and she will do like a makeup video during the week and then on the weekend she does a weekly vlog and i love watching people's weekly vlogs so yeah i really like jamie genevieve i will link her channel down in the description if you want to go and subscribe to her if you're not already because you probably already know who she is anyway but you know if you're interested in makeup or just watching someone vlog then she is the kind of person that you will like and event slash thing favorite of the month is probably gonna be receiving a dog today to look after. Um, but I will try and think of something else. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I can't really think of anything that this month. Um, Jamie's birthday was this month and we had like a pretend night out where we just had some drinks in here and just listened to some music. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. That's about it really. There's not really much that's been happened so I can't really say anything. But yeah, that's my favorites for the month. And finally onto some fails. So I think I just have two fails. I've probably got more but I can't remember um, off the top of my head. But the first one is from Lidl. So these are fails. It doesn't mean I hate the product. It doesn't mean that everyone's gonna hate the product. It just means that I haven't really got on with it that well and I don't like it as much as other things. So this is from Lidl. It is the liquid concealer in the shade Perfect Finish Light. Basically, if you've put on foundation before applying this product, when you apply it, it kind of has like a moisturizer effect. It's almost like it's got moisturizer in it, which I often find when you buy cheaper products, like cheaper foundations or cheaper concealers, is that they almost feel like they've got moisturizer in them. And yeah, when you apply this on top of foundation, it will move your foundation underneath about, which is not what a concealer is about concealer is meant to add extra coverage not uh meant to move around what you've already put down so it does the opposite effect it removes coverage so that isn't good and i would say that this product will be absolutely fine if you don't wear foundation and if you just want a concealer on its own and just to give a little bit of coverage around the face that is what i will use this for is if i'm not using foundation just for a light coverage base but if you're going to put this on top of foundation and then you're basically screwed so yeah would not recommend and then the other fail is these lashes. Now I actually have no idea where these came from. I don't know if I got sent them. I don't know if I bought them. I literally have no idea. I have a feeling I might have been sent them, but I have no idea. 
I have no idea, I don't know. I wanna do a video where I actually use these and try and properly use them with a nice makeup look because it's not these themselves that are the fail, it's eyelashes in general. I just can't apply false eyelashes, like I just can't do it. I don't know what's wrong with me, I just can't do it and I, I just look stupid basically. I can't apply them properly, they start coming off and my friend Emma is so good at like doing false eyelashes. Whenever we used to go on a night out and she did false lashes, they always looked so good and like, like like they just suited her and like you can't tell really that she was wearing them because they look so good <clears throat> my voice is going um but on me they would just look scary so i don't know but i'm gonna do a video where i try and copy like a really intricate eye look and then i just try and put these on and see what happens um because we will see but i think eyelashes in general just please give me some tips or some eyelash suggestions that aren't too like big and long because i would like to try some so that is it for this video that is my fate well, no that is my feelings favorites and fails for this month hopefully you enjoyed it this was quite a positive one some good favorites and also some good feelings and i'm really excited to see the dog um which you'll see in a vlog coming very soon please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content on my channel and i will see you in my next video goodbye